Hi, so now you've done your 8.2 update, however you're missing your payment terminal button, which would normally be here. Because the screens are now all set uh, on a store-by-store -store basis, we want to go ahead and uh, put that payment terminal button back for you. So here's how we do that. You're going to go ahead and uh, close out of the point of sale. And you can do this either in the back office uh, on the same terminal, or you can do this off of one of the back office uh, software licenses. Uh, you're going to go to Setup and Store, Other, and Screens. And the first screen you're going to see right here, screen number one, uh, is the point of sale screen. We're going to want to edit this. And I think the simplest way for you to do this is to go ahead and uh, click on your charge button. And let's make that a quad by clicking right here. And now we want to change what that says. So we're going to go to the function and we're going to scroll down here to payment terminal. Now, since you have a payment terminal, you don't need the debit or the credit buttons. So we're going to click on debit and we're just going to go ahead and hide. Click hide right here, hide the debit and hide the credit. Now, if you want to, you can also make your cash buttons larger. Uh, you can leave these at 5, 20, 10 cash. Or if you want to make one large cash button, uh, we'll go ahead and make that a quad. And we'll just change that to cash tender. There you go. So now you've got a payment terminal. You've got a cash. You've got a little bit of space right here in the middle. Um, and if you want to hide any other buttons, again, you'd click hide and then just click those. So if you don't take WIC, for example, you might want to click those and hide those. Once you're all done, we're going to save this. We're going to close it by clicking close down here. And now we're going to go back into our point of sale. And there you have it. System is uh, done. You've got your payment terminal set up and you've got a large cash button. Now keep in mind you've done this for the store that you're at and all of the registers at that store, uh, once you exit the point of sale, uh, will display this new setup. If you have more than one store, uh, you will need to uh, go to the back office uh, at that location and make the same changes. Or you can use the HQ program. Uh, you'll find the screen designer in the same uh, setup, stores, other location. And uh, you can make changes for the screens uh, on a store-by-store -store basis uh, to put the payment terminal button back on. If you're having any issues, uh, please open a support ticket and we'll get to work on that right away for you. Thank you.